Hey guys, it's Ed Rumor BHA here bringing you a new video. Now this is going to be a multi-part video, uh, just because I felt like it was a lot to try to cram into one single video. We're talking about um, Sonar and Jacket and NZB Hydra and kind of the combination of getting all that stuff set up and how you can kind of connect everything together and get it to, uh, you know, start downloading your favorite TV shows and stuff. So this should be a good video. This came across as a request, uh, somebody wanting to see how to kind of set all that up and bring it all together. Uh, so I thought it was time to put something, uh, put something out there. So like I said, there's a lot to this uh, whole setup and I uh, thought I would kind of limit what all I put into a single video. So for this first video, it's basically just going to be sonar. We'll show you how to do some configuration and then of course uh, we'll get it added into Home Assistant as well. Uh, but then of course we'll kind of wait for that next video to really pull everything together and kind of see some of the other things that you can do with it and how you can set all that up. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So of course, uh, for starters, um, we are going to install Sonar on Ubuntu 20.04. Once we do the install, then of course we'll do some configuration in Sonar and kind of go through some of that. Once we do all that, then of course we will add it into Home Assistant. And of course, as uh, just the part of that same step, I'm going to show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. So uh, for my setup here, I have an old Mac uh, Pro tower. It's actually running um, Ubuntu 20.04. So it's not running uh, Mac OS. I'm actually loaded the new version of Ubuntu. Haven't got to play around with it a whole lot, so I thought this would be a cool idea and a cool way to set that up. So we'll install Sonar on that. It already has uh, my transmission torrent client on there and uh, NZB Git for uh, news group stuff. So I thought this would be uh, the best place to probably load Sonar as well, kind of have them all together on that same box. It's a pretty easy install, uh, especially uh, if you're running, I think, anything over like 16.04 on Ubuntu. You can pretty much uh, run Snap and install Sonar, uh, you know, right out of the box. So basically we'll do a sudo snap install Sonar and let it run through the install. And once it's done, I mean, you should basically be able to connect to it in a web browser. So uh, in order to access it, its uh, default port is 8989. So we'll pull up a web browser, go to HTTP, colon, slash, slash, uh, the IP address of our machine, uh, which is 10.10.10.20 for me. And then, of course, the port number, colon, 8989. And, of course, as you can see here, this is Sonar. Pretty simple install. Can't really get past that. Let's move on to the next step. All right, so we're just going to kind of run through some of the uh, configuration. Again, I'm not going to do everything in this video because uh, uh, I'm going to kind of spread this out over uh, several videos just to try to bring everything together. But uh, we'll run through some of the stuff. In the uh, series section here, this is where you would add whatever series uh, you want to start downloading or what you want to uh, monitor with Sonar. And uh, it will uh, start pulling all that stuff in for you. We're going to jump ahead and move over to the settings section here. Uh, under media management, you can see all the different configuration changes that you can make. I like to have uh, my Sonar configuration go ahead and rename the episode so that everything is kind of uniform and a little bit cleaner. Um, so I certainly make that change here. I also change the uh, format of the season folders uh, just to have uh, two digits instead of one. Again, that's a pretty uh, common change that a lot of people make, I think. On the uh, Profiles tab, uh, this is kind of the section where you can set what all will be uh, searched for under each different uh, quality profile. So basically, um, if you're looking for 
HD 720p. It's going to have HDTV 720p, WebDL 720p, and Blu-ray 720p. And of course, you can modify any of these or add new ones if you want. Uh, if you want to look for more under a single search, I'm not really going to change anything there. The defaults work pretty well. All right, on the quality tab, again, I pretty much leave everything the default here, but this is basically the size limits for each quality of uh, video. You can change that here uh, if you want to modify the size limit uh, defaults for uh, any of those types of uh, qualities. Again, I just leave it the default. Now, indexers, we're not going to do anything under indexers for this video. Uh, we're going to come back to that in the, uh, the next video. Uh, so we'll kind of skip over that for now. We're going to go to the download client. And this is where I'm going to add in my clients. So uh, for torrents, I use uh, Transmission. It uh, works pretty well, and it integrates with Home Assistant very well. Uh, so I like to use that one for torrents. The other one is NZB Git. It also integrates pretty well with Home Assistant, and you can add that one uh, as sensors uh, to be modified uh, within Home Assistant as well. We'll just go through and add a couple of the clients here. So we'll start with the uh, transmission client. Give it a name. I'm just going to call it transmission. For the host, uh, we'll say uh, local host because it's on the same box with Sonar. Uh, 9091 is the default port. And of course, if you have a username or password set up for that, then you'll add those in there as well. Uh, once you get all that in there and you hit test, it should come back that it has succeeded. And as you can see, it has. We'll go ahead and save that. And then let's go ahead and add one more. We'll do the NZB Git as well. Uh, this is for news group uh, stuff here. So uh, I'm just going to call this one NZB Git. Kind of a similar setup here. The uh, host name will be uh, local host because, again, it's on the same box. Uh, the default port for NZB Git is 6789, so we don't have to change that. And then, of course, if you set a username or password, you'll add those here. Now, one thing you have to do for NZB Git is it wants to use a specific category that you have created on NZB Git. Uh, now, I use the default, which is uh, for TV shows, it's series. Uh, so I'm just going to change that to series here, and then we'll go ahead and do a test. And as you can see, everything succeeded and looks good there as well. Go ahead and hit save up here in the top corner just to make sure all these uh, changes save. I think I'm going to leave everything else the default. Uh, I don't really make any changes here in the connections or metadata section. And then, of course, uh, general, um, this is all just your basic configuration. If you wanted to modify any of that, you could. But that's pretty much it for the configuration. That's all I really do. Uh, once we have all that done, let's move on to that next step. All right, so uh, we want to get this added into Home Assistant. Now, obviously, we're not uh, monitoring any series yet with Sonar, as you can see here, because there's nothing configured. But we could be, and of course, we will be uh, over the course of the next few videos. So let's go ahead and get our uh, Sonar setup into Home Assistant. So in order to do that, we need this API key, which can be found under the General tab. So you're going to highlight that and just kind of copy it so you'll save it for uh, setting it up in Home Assistant. Once we have that, we're going to move over to the command line and uh, we're going to uh, edit uh, the sensor.yaml file on our Home Assistant configuration. Uh, so I'll do a sudo vi sensor.yaml Find an open spot down towards the bottom, and we're just going to add in our sonar sensor. So uh, the platform, of course, is sonar. Uh, for the API key, since I have it stored in my secrets.yaml file, we're just going to do exclamation secret, and then sonar underscore key, because that's what I have it called there. Uh, for the host, uh, since Sonar is running on a different machine, we're going to do uh, the IP address of that uh, server. So it's 10.10.10.20. And then here we can list out all the different monitored conditions that we want Home Assistant to uh, monitor. So uh, for monitored conditions, we'll say series, uh, upcoming, wanted, queue commands, and uh, disk space. 
once all those are listed out, we'll go ahead and save it. And then we're going to jump over to our uh, web interface here. We'll do a check configuration. And then, of course, we'll restart Home Assistant for the changes to take effect. And we'll give that a second to come back up. And lastly, I just kind of want to show you what that sensor looks like uh, in Home Assistant. So it created six different sensors, as you can see here. Uh, obviously, we don't have anything built out in Sonar yet, but uh, as we do build things out, then obviously these numbers will change. Uh, so we're not currently monitoring any series currently, so it's set to zero. Uh, obviously, nothing upcoming yet, uh, nothing wanted, and uh, we're not really using any disk space as well. But um, we'll keep an eye on this uh, through the next couple of videos. And as we start bringing in uh, shows and uh, videos, then, of course, you'll see these uh, statistics change. But that's pretty much it for this uh, first uh, part of this video. Uh, like I said, this was a pretty simple setup for the most part. Uh, as we uh, build out our indexers and stuff in Sonar and set all that up, then, of course, we'll get uh, further and further into it. And you'll kind of see how the rest of that setup is going to go. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So, of course, uh, for starters, we installed Sonar in Ubuntu uh, 20.04. Once that was done, then, of course, we uh, did some configuration in Sonar. And then, of course, lastly, uh, we added the uh, Sonar sensor into Home Assistant. Monitor our Sonar setup. That's the end of the video, guys. Again, there wasn't a whole lot to it. It's a pretty easy setup for this first part. I guarantee it's going to get a little bit more difficult as we move forward, but hopefully uh, breaking it up into multiple videos will certainly help. Again, I want to thank everybody that has donated to my Buy Me A Coffee link. I really appreciate it. Every little bit helps. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well. And I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.